I have run into two more of the Jewel Pierce Patterson Scholarship winners, and this is Brenda Grells, who was one of the early ones. And Brenda, where did you get to go on uh, your scholarship? Oh, I was one of the lucky ones that got to go to Karlsruhe, Germany. Oh, you went to I Germany. Did. I did. Yeah. And then you had an exhibit after that. In 1995, and uh, part of the scholarship requirements is that you developed new classes, taught them back home, and then hung this exhibit. And I was the first one to do three different classes. I was so inspired. Oh my I, gosh. I established three different classes. Taught all of those classes around the country and then hung an exhibit with examples from all three classes. And so where has this scholarship taken you in your quilt future? It's been phenomenal. I already was involved with teaching nationally and traveling nationally, and I had a pattern business already, but it just gave me that extra shot of confidence to go after the things I wanted to do. I ended up being the editor-in-chief of Quiltmaker Magazine. So cool. Did that for four years, and I'm currently the director of marketing and education for Handy Quilter in Salt Lake City, Utah. Wow, you've really taken this far. I have. I've noticed that all of us who are part of the sorority of Jewel Pierce Patterson Scholarship winners have done fabulous things with quilting careers. Yeah. It's a great club. It is yes, a great super. club. We have our own little sorority. Here. Absolutely. So I'm also here with Pam Holland, who is from Australia, and she is also one of the Jewel Pierce Patterson Scholarship winners. Yes, and I can't remember when I was, but nevertheless, it was a fabulous experience. I took um, classes from Hollis Chatelain. Oh my. Hollis Chatelain. Cynthia England. And a portrait maker from England. I can't quite remember. Yeah. Well. yeah. So, because I wanted to try and use some of those techniques. So, where has this taken you? Oh my goodness. <laughs> so, since then, I mean, I've been teaching internationally now for. Um, ever since, pretty much, since eight, seven or eight years, and um, get to teach all over the world, not just here in the United States. And um, I've also written a book, and yes. writing more books. Yes. And, um, What's the name of your book? 1776 Heartache, Heritage and Happiness. It's been out a couple of years, oh. and uh, it was a book based on the, the quilt that won here in 2003. Yeah. yeah. That wonderful one based on the wool inlay quilt. Absolutely, yes. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, it, was, it was a great joy. And that great quilt of yours featured lots of soldiers, right? It did, it did. And when I was in Germany in 94, I noticed a lot of quilts that had pictures of people. Yeah. And that was one of my inspirations. I came okay. back and started teaching. Yeah. And you ended up doing portrait quilts yeah. as well. Isn't that Isn't funny? That's right. Yes. And now yeah. there's a whole section here yeah. in Houston yeah. devoted just to people quilts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. right. Yeah. Oh, that's great. We really do have a sisterhood, don't we? We do. You great. haven't told us, you know, uh, when you were. Oh, yeah. and see, she puts me on the spot. Yeah, I don't absolutely. know when I was, no. but uh, it was around 1997. Yes. And I got to go to Innsbruck, Austria. And I too chose to take classes yes. with the, quilt the European and the foreign quilt mm -hmm. teachers. Mm -hmm. And oh my gosh! What classes was, did you take? I took I took a lot of design type of classes. Okay. I took one with Gu Laporte, and um, there was a, a uh, oh I don't know if I think she was from Sweden. I mm -hmm. took a design class yes. with her. And so when I came back, what I did I, I did teach a design type of class mm -hmm. where everybody that did quilts for me for my for the, my exhibit yes. with their quilts. Um, they were all completely different because they yeah. were able to uh, create these mm. different pieces mm. just by di the different exercises mm. that we did. And how my career has expanded yeah. is yeah. absolutely amazing. Yeah. Uh, traveling and teaching internationally, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, I got a taste for that international travel. And oh my <laughs> gosh, <laughs> it is wonderful. Mm. And uh, yeah, I've been to England, Ireland, Scotland, mm. Sweden, Denmark. Curacao, which is an island down near South America. Oh, oh really? really? I haven't, I haven't, are you sure that's real? I haven't even heard of that. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's, I, it was beautiful. Yes. And I'm going to Dubai. Which is yeah. Really cool. Oh, how wonderful. Oh, <laughs> you know, we, we, I think we are really lucky that we've been able to get this scholarship. Yeah. And yes, I do yes. encourage you to apply yeah. because... Um, it's a great opportunity, yes, and it's a yeah. scholarship for quilt teachers. It is indeed, and it's it's just open. It opens up the world to you, really. It really yeah, does. Yeah. I remember being 
feeling that it was so important to be inspired by all the classes. I didn't yeah. want to come home and do what someone else had no, been doing. I, I agree. I just came back with new ideas and fresh yes. outlooks. Yeah. I agree. Me too. Thanks. Well, thank you so thank much. You. This has You're been welcome. such a treat. Thank it was you. great fun. Well, I found another of the Julies, and um, this is Jenny Raymond, who was 2004's Jewel Pierce Patterson Scholarship recipient. Now, what was your experience with that scholarship? Oh, it was wonderful. I uh, went to Holland Ooh. and uh, spent a week there and uh, took some wonderful classes. Uh, um, just, just totally enjoyed it. Visited Kuchenhof Gardens, and in fact, from Kuchenhof Gardens, that was the uh, focal point of the quilts that I made for the exhibit yeah. in uh, Houston for 2005. Yes. Do you remember any of the classes that you took? Uh, yes. Glory. I'm just was just yes, trying to remember. Getting back there. Okay. My favorite teacher was Gloria Lotman. And she was an Australian teacher, or is an Australian teacher, and she taught about um, uh, painting sunsets and sunrises. Oh, yeah. And just a wonderful teacher. I can't say enough about her. She was a great lady. Quilts that I designed were built around her class uh, with the sunsets and sunrises, and then the gorgeous tulips and other spring flowers that we saw at Kuchenhof Gardens. I do remember the beautiful quilts that were in mm -hmm. your exhibit with mm -hmm. the flowers. Oh, yeah. Oh, just oh, yeah. gorgeous. Yeah, just they were gorgeous. wonderful. So what has the scholarship done for you? Where, you have, where have you gone since then? Well, it, I feel like it really opened a lot of doors as far as teaching, and uh, it gives you that much more credibility right. in your work. And um, um, it was just a wonderful honor to join this great class of people that uh, have been past uh, recipients of this award. Yeah, we've, we've decided we have a sisterhood. That is right. That is right. <laughs> the Julies. It's, yeah, the Julies, because we put, we work so hard on those yeah. applications, and then you wait, and you wait, you wait, and when you find out, it's just it's just good. That's all it, there is is to good. It. Mm -hmm. it is That's good. That's right. Well, thank you so much. Yes. This is a real treat to get yes. to be with you. Yes, you're welcome. Okay, well, I found Kathy Cancier, and she is this year's Jewel Pierce Patterson Scholarship winner. And uh, how do you feel about that? Oh, it's exciting. It's, you know, I had all my expenses paid to come here, and I get to take classes rather than teach them this yeah. year, which is nice. So. That is nice. So whose classes are you taking this year? I took a variety of classes. On Monday, I'm taking a class with Nancy Prince taking Ricky Tim's seminar, um, just uh, Helen Gibb learning how to um, dye silk ribbons, just a variety of things I took. So. Wow, that is so much fun. And what kind of classes do you teach? Well, I teach edge treatments on how to do different things like scallops and prairie points and piping. And then I do a lot of hand work. I do hand quilting. I teach, well, I teach hand and machine applique, but um, I gravitate towards the hand work. And we will look forward to seeing Kathy's exhibit next year next here year. in Houston. You'll have a, an exhibit of 10 quilts that most of it is your students' work, but yes. some of it will be your work yeah. as well. Part, part of the scholarship is that we develop this um, exhibit, and we go back and develop new classes from what we've learned here. So it, it's, it's a good thing for teachers to um, just keep us fresh and learn yeah. new techniques and new things. So. I agree. Well, thank, thank you. you so much for doing this with me. Thank you, Bonnie.